I'm Megan with Happy Tails Pet Care and I'm a professional pet expert and nutrition consultant. My goal is to educate people about animals and help pet owners provide the best care to their beloved pets. See a pet in my video you like? Let me know and I will feature that pet in more videos. Hello everyone, this video is going to be about pet rats. And joining me today is Susie. Susie is going to be in this video with me talking about pet rats. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons of owning a pet rat. Rats are cheap. I would say they are probably some of the cheapest pets that you can own. They are cheap to buy and they are also cheap to maintain. Most of your money is going to go towards buying a cage for the rat and everything else is a little cheaper than that. Rats can be handled a lot. They love to be picked up. They love to spend time with you. So that's another great thing about owning them. Rats are very cuddly, affectionate, and they have big personalities. Some of the cons of owning a pet rat is that they can bite you and they do have very sharp teeth. So if they do bite, that can really hurt and cause a lot of damage. But most rats will not bite if you socialize them properly and also train them. Rats are rodents, so their teeth are constantly growing, which means that they can have dental problems. So if you've decided to buy a pet rat, you're going to want to buy a rat very young so that you can bond with it. Feeder rats are the cheapest rats that you can buy. They usually only cost a couple of dollars. Feeder rat pups are about three dollars each and they're a lot cheaper than some of the other stores that carry rats as pets. And feeder rats do make great pets. Uh, Susie here was actually a feeder rat. So as you can see, they are very docile and they still can make great pets. When you pick out a rat, you're going to want to check to see that it doesn't have any health problems. You're going to want to check that your rat's eyes are clear and that there's no discharge coming from the eyes or nose. You're also going to want to check the rat's body to make sure that there's no bite marks from other rats that could open the skin to get infection. So you're going to want to check its body and check its tail and its ears that there's no bite marks. You always want to buy two or more rats. Rats are extremely social and they do not do well by themselves. So you always want to make sure that there's at least two together. And also make sure that you either buy all females or all males. Rats do breed very easily and if you get a male and a female, you will have 20 rats in no time. There are a lot of cages to choose from when it comes to rats. What I recommend is keeping your rats in something small for the first uh, seven days to two weeks that you have the rat. This is going to help you be able to pick them up and have easy access to them while you're bonding with them and taming them. However, this is only temporary and your rats should be moved to a larger cage as soon as possible. Some of the cages that I recommend is the Ferret Nation cage or the Critter Nation cage. Those are excellent cages for rats. Uh, those are really the best ones that you can find. Rats are escape artists, so it's important to get a cage that has bars that are very close together and bars that are also very strong so that your rats cannot pull them apart in order to escape. Another cage that you can use is Rabbit Hutches. And here I have a picture of the rabbit hutch that I have for my ferrets. I use this cage for my ferrets, however, it would also make a great rat cage as well. If you do want to have it indoors though, it does not have a bottom, so you would just need to find something to cover up the bottom in order to place it in your house so that it's not directly on the floor. For bedding, you can use blankets. A lot of people use blankets for their rats. They just need to be washed regularly. You can also use wood shavings or paper bedding. I prefer paper bedding. That's my favorite one, so that's what I use. Rats are very intelligent, so it's really important to have a lot of toys in the cage for your rats. There are a lot of toys that you can make for pet rats at home that are very cheap and easy to make. I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this video so that you can go to my blog and see how to make rat toys for yourself. It's also important to have a lot of chew toys for your pet rats. They are rodents, so their teeth are constantly growing, and they need something to be able to wear their teeth down on. You can also use cardboard boxes for your rats to hide in. It's also really important to have a water bottle for your rats. You don't want to place water for them in a bowl because they will spill it and they will get it dirty, and it's just going to make the cage messier. So you want to use a water bottle with a dripper so that they constantly have access to clean drinking water. You can also use a wheel inside the cage for your rats to get plenty of exercise. Next, it's really important to talk about your rat's diet. There is a lot of commercial rat food available. However, most packaged food is actually not good for rats. A lot of this food contains alfalfa and dried corn, both of which you don't want your rat to be eating. 
Rats should not be eating dried corn. Corn is good for them, but you want to cook the corn for them and not have it raw or dried. And alfalfa is also not good for rats since they do have a hard time digesting it. I never buy packaged food for my rats. I always feed them fresh food. So some of the things that I feed my rats is fresh fruits and vegetables, as well as pasta, tofu, they love pasta. Rats can also eat chicken and chicken bones. Chicken bones are great for rats because they're able to wear their teeth down while chewing on the chicken bone. And it's really important to make sure that your rat is constantly chewing on stuff so that they are able to wear their teeth down. Rats can eat so many different things that it's a lot easier to talk about what they cannot eat. So here's a list of things that your rat should not be eating and hopefully this will help you provide a balanced diet for your rat. Rats should not be fed raw peanuts, raw corn, raw sweet potato, or raw squash. All of those things should be cooked before you give it to them, as well as beans. They can eat canned beans just as long as they are cooked, no raw beans. Also, don't feed your rats bananas if they are still green. Make sure that the banana is ripe before you give it to them. Rats should not be eating alfalfa, brussels sprouts, blue cheese, or poppy seeds. Those are not good for rats, as well as red meats. You don't want to feed your rats red meats. However, you can feed them chicken. It's also really important to never feed your rats any type of soda, any type of food that contains a lot of sugar, such as candy, as well as you don't want to give your rats chocolate, and you also want to make sure that you don't ever give your rats any alcohol or anything like that. Besides the things that I just listed, there are tons of things that you can feed your rat, and I have found that it's actually cheaper to feed your rat fresh foods than to buy rat food for them. Most of the time, rats just waste packaged food anyway, so it is better to keep fresh food available for them because they like the way it tastes better, so they're constantly going to be eating that. I hope this video helped you to understand basic rat care. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos about animals and learn more about animals. Say bye, Susie. Say bye. Rats aren't dirty. No, they're not, huh? Rats are super clean. Oh, I don't think you're gross. I don't think your tail's gross.